Hey everyone, it's Samia. Right now I'm going to be doing my June wrap up. So I read three books this month, which isn't too bad, but definitely could have had a better month, but what can you do? So I'm going to first start off with the first book that I read this month, and it is Dirty English by Elsa Madden Mills. It looks like this. I give this book four stars. It is about a young girl named Elizabeth. Well, not young. I mean, they're in college. But a young girl named Elizabeth, and she is definitely one to, you know, follow the rules and is, you know, very good. And yeah, she just follows the rules, basically. And then we get introduced to Declan Blay, and he it is a, he is a British underground fighter. And Declan saves... Elizabeth from a frat party gone wrong and then they start of they sort of start to build this relationship and it's just about them and their relationship. Again, I gave this book four stars. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really fun read. I didn't really have any problems with it. I thought it was great. I really enjoyed all the characters and I do have a review coming for this book in the next couple of weeks. I have it like everything scheduled out and so I'm trying to upload all my reviews that I have filmed before and so I think by the end of the month I will have a review up for this book and so I'm really excited to share that with you guys. The next book that I read was Arson. It is by Mia Asher and it looks like this. I gave this book four stars and I don't really know how to describe my feelings on this book because this is about a woman named Catherine and she is in this it's about her broken love story and that's how it's, it explains it on the front. It's a broken love story and it's about her and how she loves two men or at least she thinks she loves two men. And so it's about her and it's very clear that this book is going to deal with cheating and it talks about it on the back. She calls herself a cheater and I just like, if you've watched any of my other videos, I probably have mentioned sometime or another that cheating is my absolute biggest pet peeve in books. I can deal with just about anything else but cheating in books just bothers me. Now, I went into this book knowing it was a book basically about cheating. And so I'm like, why did I pick this book up? I wanted to dislike the main character, Catherine, so bad. Hint the word wanted. I, it was so hard for me to dislike her because she, oh my gosh, I just can't even. I talked about this whole thing in my review, but I just... I really did enjoy the book. Despite everything that was going on and the situations that everyone was put in, I really enjoyed this book. I'm very surprised that I enjoyed it so much because it does deal with cheating and so I might just have to pick up some other books because, I don't know, maybe cheating isn't so bad in my books? I don't know. No, it definitely is. It really does annoy me but I don't know why. I just, I could, I could see so many different sides of everything and I don't know. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. And then the last book took me on a complete roller coaster. I have a few clips that I might insert in here. I might keep some just for the review that I'm doing for this book. But this book is The Edge of Never by J.A. Redmirsky. And oh my gosh. This book was crazy. So crazy. So I give this book five stars to start off with before I forget. Not like I could forget. But this is about Cameron and she is just kind of like in this rut in her hometown. She really just needs to get out and so she decides she's gonna pack a backpack, get on a Greyhound bus and leave. And so that's what she does. And she along the way meets a young man named Andrew Parrish. And of course they don't just meet and then never see each other again. Things happen. They end up, you know, traveling and you know, they're on the Greyhound bus together and they get to know each other and of course there's secrets and, you know, untold situations and stories and about their past and they're getting to know each other and it's about like, you know, their love story and oh my gosh. This book was absolutely amazing. I, oh, I'm, how about, I'm gonna insert a few clips. You have to be warned that this includes very ugly, ugly, ugly crying because I was reading and I was getting very emotional and I was like hmm this would be kind of funny to share with the whole internet and so I filmed it and there was some parts that ugh, I'm totally gonna go into more of this in my review you'll see more of my ugly crying in the review it's probably gonna be more on the spoiler side just because I'm going to explain why I was crying so much and the situations and everything but oh my gosh this book was just 
absolutely amazing. So, so good. Please don't make fun of me for my ugly crying and just know that you might end up like that if you read this book too, but I totally recommend this book. This is the first book that I read by J.A. Radmirsky and I am in love. I'm, I'm just in love. So in love. Um, I can't read this book anymore. <laughs> So yeah, that was my reading month. I did it pretty good. I mean, not that the books are like super long or anything. They're like decent sized, but I mean, this one's pretty short, but these ones are decent sized. I mean, I totally could have read more, but what can you do? I think this month Orange is the New Black came out. Did it? Because I think I binge watched that because I had a couple days left on my free Netflix, which guys, Orange is the New Black was awesome for the most part. I kind of didn't like it as much as I like the other seasons, but I still thought it was, it was pretty decent. But I had to finish watching it, like, as soon, I had to, like, binge watch it because my Netflix, free Netflix trial was ending. And I was, was watching Prison Break and I had 10 episodes left of the last season. And I wasn't able to finish watching because my Netflix thing, un, like, went away and I didn't want to pay for it because I'm cheap. But... So now I have 10 episodes left that I need to finish because I'm absolutely in love with that show. Please, no spoilers. I will literally die if I see a spoiler for the end of Prison Break. I will die. Die. But that's my dilemma. I need to find a way to watch it. Anyone want to share their Netflix with me? I swear I just need it for the 10 episodes and then I'll be done. <sighs> but yeah, hopefully I'll have a better reading month because I don't have any shows to binge watch. So, yeah. Let me know if you've read any of these books, any of these books by these authors, or if you have any thoughts on them. Of course, if you have any thoughts that are, like, full of spoilers, I don't mind as long as, you know, I've read... If it's about any of these books and I've read the book, I don't mind hearing spoilers about them. But I don't know about everyone else because not everyone that's looking through the comments might have read it. So please, if you leave any spoilery comments, just put spoilers ahead or something so that way they know not to read it because I would hate for someone to get spoiled on any of these books if they do plan to read them but I literally would love to talk to all of you about these books look out for my reviews I believe that all three of these should be coming out this month I am hopefully gonna try and get ahead and where I can upload a review and then let be like hey check out the review and these wrap-up videos so that way you can actually see them when I'm talking about them you know anyways I'm rambling I tried to make this a short video I'm gonna go now. Bye. Like this video. Share it with your friends. Leave some comments. Subscribe. All of the above. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm crazy. Bye guys.